And the Olympics may be over, but the excitement is not right now. With banners and American flags flying in abundance, it was a very warm welcome home to some of the many Olympians who helped to put Minnesota on the map. The gold medal winning U.S. men's curling team returning home to Duluth tonight. And Fox 9's Maury Glover joins us live up north with more on that happy homecoming. Maury? That's right, guys. About 200 people showed up here at the Duluth Airport to welcome the Olympic curling team home, and it turned out to be an emotional experience for just about everyone involved. I just want to support them. I mean, I wish I could be in the Olympics right now. At the Duluth Airport, it's the Olympics of welcome home parties for a group of hometown heroes. I think this is wonderful that so many people from Duluth came out to welcome the team back. Friends, relatives, and total strangers turned out to greet Team Schuster after winning their historic gold medal at the Olympics in South Korea. These are the people that just support and love these, this, these players, this team. So we, we don't want to miss out on that either. After a few false starts as the other passengers left the plane, it was time for the big moment. The community greeted them with open arms and open hearts, and the Olympians were overcome with emotion. Just pure emotion of, uh, yeah, because these, these are the people that were around for all this work that, that this team, you know, put in, and, and the people that have, have been there, um, and, and honestly, I, I see a lot of faces I don't recognize, which is also um, ecstatic. Give me a a! A! Who are we? USA! 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 After Schuster's son led the crowd in a patriotic chant, it was time to get ready for a little R and R. What's the first thing you do when you get home? Uh, put this little little gal to bed and uh, probably put myself to bed too. <laughs> but they'll never forget their golden moment. In Olympic history. It was just one of those, one of those moments that that will live with me for the rest of my life, and uh, it'll kind of go down with probably curling history in our country. And um, I was glad to be able to get to do that for my team. Now, this is one of the signs that the folks left behind here, as well as some of these balloons. In the meantime, the team got a police escort home from the airport, where they will get a lot of rest because they will need it. Tomorrow is the big party, and that's when the cities of Duluth and Superior officially welcome them home and celebrate their Olympic victory. Reporting live in Duluth, Maury Glover, back to you.